And so the Christmas baking begins. So I thought I would show you how to make Maureen's most favorite cookie, which is white chocolate oatmeal cookies. I found this recipe in Southern Living Magazine quite a while ago, and Maureen just loves this cookie. Of course, now she kind of loves the scones that I make, but we're making cookies for Christmas. So the first thing you're gonna need is one cup of butter softened, and I just brought this up to room temperature. I am fortunate enough to have a KitchenAid mixer with this wonderful um, plastic paddle um, a, a, uh, accessory. Maureen bought this for me, I think for Christmas, last year or the year before, and this works great because it scrapes the size. Of course, you don't need this. You can use a regular um, hand mixer. You need one cup of packed brown sugar and one cup of regular white granulated sugar, two large eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla. I buy mine at Costco's and I find it works perfectly. You're going to need three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of regular oats, and two cups of white chocolate chips. So the first thing we need to do is to cream the butter. So this is pretty soft, so this won't take that long. And then once the butter is creamed, you're gonna mix in the sugar. Okay, that's gonna be a little difficult with one hand. I think I will we'll, um, stop the camera, add the sugar, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the two sugars have been added, and we're just going to make sure those are nice and creamed together. And then we'll be adding the vanilla. So I'm gonna shut that off. I'm going to add the two, spoon, two teaspoons of vanilla and cream that up again. All right, so now that the vanilla is added, I'm gonna add the eggs one at a time. I wanna make sure that they're good and combined before I add the next egg. So I don't see any yellow, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the next one. So while that is creaming, we're going to go ahead and add the baking soda, the baking powder, and the salt to the dry ingredients and then once that is all creamed up we will add the dry ingredients a little at a time so it doesn't splash out of the mixer. Okay so I have mixed all the wet ingredients. I have my dry ingredients ready to go. I have my thing locked and I'm going to start adding this little by little. If anyone has this mixer you know that the flour tends to shoot out at you if you add too much flour at one time. It still shoots out. Little truth in advertising, I had to run to the store to get the extra cup of flour. I only had two cups of flour. Are you kidding me? I have been so far behind with this Christmas. As ahead as I was for Thanksgiving, that's how behind I am right now. So I'm just gonna continue to add the dry ingredients. But a lot of time, look at that. <laughs> just made a mess. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we will add the oats and the white chocolate chips. Once I have combined the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients, I want to scrape down the bowl and make sure that all of that flour has been incorporated, especially down on the bottom. This dough is kind of dry. Um, Toll House Cookie is a little more wet. So this, I'm just going to make sure all the flour is incorporated. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the oats, mix it, and add the white chocolate chips and mix it. I know you're supposed to mix chocolate chips and that type of stuff by hand, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm gonna just put it in the mixer. <laughs> so I added the white chocolate chips, I added the oatmeal, I made sure it was all combined, and then I just plopped it down on some saran wrap. I patted it down with my spatula, and now I'm just gonna wrap it up. It's kind of, I don't know, about an inch thick, I guess. Normally I would leave it in a bowl and put it in the refrigerator but I have no room in my refrigerator. So this is what I'm doing. I've done this to two batches of Toll House cookies. So I'm gonna refrigerate it. I like to refrigerate my dough before I bake with it. I like the butter to harden up. Sometimes when you overwork the butter, the cookies kind of spread out on the cookie sheet. So I'm probably not going to bake these till tomorrow because I'm exhausted. So this is done and now I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. If you were gonna bake them, you wanna bake them at 350 degrees for about 12 minutes, depending on your stove. Um, so that's the white chocolate chip 
oatmeal cookies. So just to show you that I am not lying, that I have no room in my refrigerator. This is what my refrigerator looks like. And then here is the cookie dough all stacked up. The white chocolate chip oatmeal and two batches of Toll House cookies. I think that's all I'm going to make this year. And I have to... <laughs> my son is tiptoeing because I'm filming. Um, I'm going to have to clean this out at some point and get ready for Christmas. I decided to go ahead and knock these cookies out tonight. So this is what it looks like when it came out of the refrigerator. I'm just filling up this cookie sheet and I love to use these cookie scoops. I think that these are great. They make nice uniform sized cookies. I have, this is a medium one. I have a large like ice cream, ice cream scoop size and I have a mini one and um, you just kind of, of course I'm doing this with my left hand so you just kind of dig it into the cookie mix scoop it out if i can get a hold of it and then just put it on the cookie sheet you just squeeze the handle and it pops right out so i'm going to finish filling up this cookie sheet i'm cooking them at 350 degrees i'm going to start checking them at about 10 minutes because my oven just doesn't like to cooperate but it says on the recipe for 12 minutes so i'll show you what they look like when they're all cooked Okay, so our first batch is done and coming out of the oven. They don't really spread a lot. Um, I think I may leave these in just for a little, maybe a minute longer. They don't seem to be as brown as I would like. So, um, so far I've cooked them for 14 minutes. This is my oven. So I'm gonna pop them in for another minute and then we'll see how they look. Whoops. All right, I took them out of the oven. I cooked them for 15 minutes in my oven. And this is what they look like. I think they look perfect. So I have a, another cookie sheet ready to go in the oven. Hey, hey, hey. So I'm gonna put these in and I'm gonna put them in for 15 minutes and pray I don't burn them. I have all the cookies baked. I think it made a little over four dozen with the medium size cookie scoop. So I let them cool and now I'm just packaging them up to wait for Christmas Day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you make it, please let me know. I will include the recipe in the description box and I will see you all next time. Bye.